Another place you might see this is if you have a magnet anywhere near a highly conductive surface. Okay, so here we have this big copper block. And this is interesting. If you get these large neodymium magnets that have large strong fields, you can actually feel the eddy currents when you move the magnet around on the block. You feel a resistive force. You can kind of see it if you hold it on the corner and let it fall. It looks like it falls quite a bit slower than it should, right? That's the eddy currents always opposing and damping the motion. To see it more dramatically, we can let the, uh, the, the magnet roll. So here I'm going to put, first I'll put a similar size wooden block and show you that this thing is heavy. It rolls pretty fast, so here it goes. Pretty good roll there. And if I replace that with the copper block, see what happens here. And slowly makes its way down again because of eddy currents. And just so you don't think that we are tricking you and, you know, um, slowing down the tape, here's a piece of chalk and the magnet at the same time. There it goes. Oh, there goes my chalk. So this is a much more complicated case. We can't quite draw it as clearly as for the electromagnet. But when you have the big copper block and this large magnet, or this neodymium magnet like this, you know, it's got field lines all kinds of different ways going into the metal. And it really doesn't matter the exact orientation. You'll feel, end up with eddy currents and opposing forces in lots of different orientations. So since eddy currents depend on the material's resistivity, if we can change the resistivity, we might change the effect. So what we're going to do is take our copper block and freeze it to greatly reduce its resistivity. So here I'm going to put it in this Pyrex dish and we'll pour liquid nitrogen over it and let it cool off. Let's see. Really submerge it and let it go. There you can see it boiling away the liquid nitrogen because to the liquid nitrogen it's pretty warm. This takes a while, so we'll be back in a minute. So now we've frozen our block and I can definitely feel the forces are now much bigger. The eddy current resistance is very big. But to really be able to compare, I'm going to try to lift it up and get it out of here and put it back on that wooden block so that we have a ramp again. Get that out of the way. This over here, I don't want to stick to it. Don't want to put my tongue on it, as you can imagine. All right. There we go. Out of the way. And trying to get the exact same angle, pretty much right there. Turn it. All right. All right. And we can see now, feel the forces are much bigger. And now we let it roll. And now it's really slow. Definitely slower than before. Let it go again. And the reason is it's cooler, the resistivity is lower, therefore it has a lower resistance to the eddy current. The eddy currents are bigger currents, so they have bigger forces. It'll barely move this way up. So in that direction it can't even get past the uh, friction.